hi guys very good evening uh, so I'm here with one more video and I hope you like this video because I actually was thrilled uh, to you know uh, to get this question uh, from uh, one of my subscribers and uh, he has got this uh, data he shared this data this is a dummy data and he said that uh, he is facing a problem uh, in uh, you know uh, actually uh, checking that uh, whether the cells are properly referenced whether the formula is correctly you know being uh, picked up or not right so what he says is that uh, this is a table which I have prepared the dummy table and he's using these numbers somewhere uh, in this sheet right in the second sheet I think uh, he's doing this something like this right he is using this and let me drag this now uh, if I drag this down obviously you know that all the values will be picked from uh, from the sheet one right because we have simply uh, just uh, check uh, this formula bar uh, what we have done is we are we have linked a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 a6 and you know so on all the cells of the sheet one with this sheet two right so if I change something over here let's say uh, if I'm gonna uh, if I'm change any value here uh, let's say I'm going to make this value 1000 right so it automatically uh, will uh, change to 1000 because we have referenced the cell right now what interesting point which I'm gonna share with you is the problem which this uh, you know the person who wrote me this email is facing uh, he has this uh, linking you know I think he's using somewhere around 600 cells you know down the line right and uh, so I think uh, might be uh, it's a long list it is linked with the another sheet right and uh, so what he wants to do is he wants to check that is there any way that if they if at any point in time if at any cell you know if this formula is getting yeah, uh, you know not incremented the way it should if it is breaking you know somewhere then he should be able to find it out you know which all uh, cells are not actually according to the formula right so I'll show you what I what exactly I mean is you see just look at this formula bar it has referenced with the a2 and if I move this down it has a3 a4 a5 a6 a7 a8 a9 you know this this in this formula bar right so cells are properly arranged the formula we have dragged now I think uh, the problem which he is facing is that if in this sequence let's say I'm going to change this to a 90 right so the formula is not now in a sequence right and again over here let's say uh, let me change this to maybe a 111 right now he wants to find that where what are those cells what are those row numbers where this formula is not going in a sequence right so there is a very good way of finding it out and uh, that's a go to feature right so now what you can do is instead of checking each cell you know like this that whether you have the a6 a7 a9 or a90 okay so a90 is there so you now you know that you know this formula is not the way ideally after a8 you should have a9 but it is a90 right and similarly here a10 a11 and then a111 so after a11 you know you check this a11 sheet 1 a11 it should have been a12 so he wants to know that is there any way that we can check that the cells are the formula which uh, you know which we have used uh, uh, as as a you know cell reference is it somewhere breaking so yes there is a way my friend and how you can do it for all those who are watching this video uh, see what you need to do is you need to simply select this entire range right wherever you have referenced this with another sheet or with maybe within the sh uh, same sheet but with the another cells right so what you need to do is you need to go to the this option go to click on the go to and click on special and since this is a column right so you are interested in checking in the columns not in the rows so select the column difference the moment you click the column difference and you click ok you see 
these rows are highlighted so these rows are telling you that here there is a some problem in the formula it is not going in the sequence right so from here you can even color them right and then later on you can check each and every uh, you know cell all these uh, cells which have some issue and you can rectify them right similarly um, it can be within the sheet as well for example let me just um, use this let let us say equals to a2 and let us drag this let's drag this and let's say over here I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to maybe a28 right just to give you an example and in a28 I don't have any number but maybe I can write my name over there right so it will come now this is a very short list so obviously you can actually uh, you know check step by step by you know moving uh, down one cell and uh, you can check that after a6 it has to be a7 but it is not a28 so manually you can do it but if you have a long list then you really don't have to use this right so just use the go select the entire range and go to the um, go to this option go to or you can even use the control G right control G is the shortcut key so what you can do is select this and control G and go to the special option and click on this column difference and the moment you press ok you see this cell is highlighted so it says that here is a breakage right so that's how you can rectify the things now similarly it can be done um, you know horizontally as well let me write some data here let's say you have some numbers here right now you want these numbers to be picked up maybe here right so I'm referencing this cell equals to this and now let us drag this right all right and somewhere here let me put some let me create some problem here let me change this to maybe k9 and maybe let us change this to m100 now you know that this formula is not a sequence but we want to identify where our sequence you know the serial number is not working so if, if it is I1 you check this formula bar it has to be J1 right and this time it is K9 right so ideally your I1 J1 and the next has to be K1 right but it is showing K9 so similarly after L1 you should have M1 not M100 so how, how to check this select this range go to the control G and special and this time you will see the row difference not the column difference because you are moving horizontally right so when you work on when you work on Excel and you want to work horizontally you always deal with the rows and if you are working vertically like this like in in the downward direction then it is always the column difference right which I have just shared with you so press ok and you will see that Excel has already you know by default it is going to not the by default I beg your pardon but you know after you press the ok so with its own programming you know uh, behind the curtains it is going to do some magic for you and it is going to select these cells and here you can even color them you can even bold them whatever you want to do so that after when you come out of this you know you can actually check okay so these are the cells where there is something wrong and what I have done wrong is you can definitely you know check each and every cell like this and you can rectify the error right so that's the go to special feature I hope you like the video if you like the video please do subscribe my, for my channel and watch my other videos as well there are around 20 to 25 videos which I have uploaded so far and all are very very you know good in terms of Excel knowledge and in case if you are looking for some Excel course just let me know I provide Excel basic intermediate and advanced Excel programs and uh, you can even uh, contact me for the VBA in case if you are looking for I have uploaded some videos on the VBA as well and I keep on uploading the same and uh, before I sign off I just want to thank you all because you know um, I think um, uh, day on day you know uh, my email box is um, <laughs> you know getting flooded with your emails with your inquiries and uh, I really you know I, I must say that this was really a very tricky one and uh, so I congratulate the person who wrote me this email thank you so much for this for this you know for such a wonderful question I hope this would have increased your knowledge and for all those people who are watching this video I'm sure you will next time when you will uh, come across this kind of a problem you will not do any manual work right
all right guys thank you so much have a good day stay fit and happy learning bye bye